If you've ever wondered how good a camera spy pin is, I've also wondered that as well. I found the most reviewed model on Amazon and today I'm testing it out to see how it really works. Let's first take a look back at the unboxing and see how that went. I paid $33.44 for this. Exact same thing. It comes in two pieces here. What do we got? All kinds of stuff in here. Oh, wow. Micro SD reader, very helpful. Microfiber cloth. Some instructions, very helpful. Ink refills, that's very nice. Pen itself, USB cable. Looks like there's already ink in there. Let's see. There's a USB charging port right there and a spot for an SD card, which I believe is not included. To access the pen, I think you just turn this. There you go. Will it write? It writes. 70 continuous minutes of recording time. Reviews are kind of mixed on this one. Some people say the quality is bad and it's hard to use, while others are impressed by its features. All right, before getting to my test, let me show you how it actually works. First of all, you hold down for two seconds to turn it on. Now you have the green light. Now if you want to record, you hold it down for two seconds and it will blink three times. One, two, let go. So you stop it by pressing it once. Take a photo, press once. Turn it off, hold down. You'll notice later in the video there's some rattling and I traced the rattling down to this cap right here. So I was able to fix that later in the video by putting a very low tech piece of tape over it. Well, it's kind of, I kind of messed it up, but I put a piece of tape over it like that, no more rattling. For photos, they say it's super high quality, 2560 by 1440. There seems to be absolutely no stabilization whatsoever, as you'll see later. Video quality is 1920 by 1080. You can get the photos off here by either removing the SD card, putting an adapter, or just plugging it right in your computer right there. The SD card can be up to 128 gig. After you've used it at least once, it'll create folders on there with a text file where you can set the time and date. Anyways, I took this outside to test it out and here's how that went. <laughs> That's funny. Right, so one thing I wanted to point out before I actually show you some other more pen tests is if you see the pen in my pocket right here, as you can tell, the pen is not completely vertical. It looks sideways. The pen is pointing upward like this. So I went into a convenience store last night for my first test and I walked through there and I'll show you what that looked like. But all I filmed was the ceiling the entire time because it's in my pocket. I thought it was gonna film straight ahead. It's actually filmed straight up. First test of the spy pin. Let's see how it works. I guess if you walk around maybe hunched over, it would be straight. Maybe if I do like this, that might be better. I don't know. Anyways, let's go out here and test this pen and see how it looks. Turning the pen on. Now I'm going to be hitting the record button. One, two. It blinked three times. That means it's recording. Let's check it out. All right, so here I'm in the shade right now with the pen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn a little bit and you can see how the pen looks in different lighting conditions. It feels kind of funny being out talking to a pen like this. When it was a phone, it's one thing, but it's a pen. And let me switch over the audio for the pens. You can hear how the, audio, the pen audio sounds outdoors because there are some kind of ambient sounds out here. Here's the outdoor sounds of the pen. How does that sound? Let me go out in the sunlight and see how that looks. All right, so now I'm in the direct sunlight. How's the pen look? I'm holding it steady. The pen should be looking right at me, hopefully. And I'm gonna rotate a little bit. How's that look? All right, that's good. I, I guess it's all right. We, we, I don't know. We shall see. I can't. I can't see. All right, it's time for an extreme stabilization test: the pen versus a GoPro. Let's try it out. I'm gonna walk with them side by side. Here we go. Now I'm gonna run. Well, I'm jogging, not really running. People are probably wondering what I'm doing out here. Okay, I'm gonna try now a couple of uh, close-up shots and I'm also gonna try some photos with the pen to see how that looks. I don't know how close I can get. Those trash cans are nasty. Why would you put stinky trash cans right next to the bleachers. Why would you do that? That smells awful. Oh, here, I got my, I got the perfect seat right here, right next to the garbage. <laughs> God, it smells like dead fish in there, man. Wow. All right, so in addition to video, it also takes photos. The color was very all over the place in the photos I took from pretty good to not so great. Check it out.
I couldn't have picked a worse place to film this. I got cicadas buzzing, I got construction over there, airplanes flying over, smelly trash over there. It's like, there's a worse place to possibly film in Las Vegas. But what I was gonna say is that now I'm gonna do my pen vlog, where I'm gonna spend the rest of my day vlogging with this pen. So starting now, pen vlog. I'm ready. I'm ready. All right, so maybe the spy pin isn't great to be in your pocket moving around, walking around. How will it work as a stationary cam? Let's see how that works, where it's in one place and the subject is moving. What if I place it discreetly among some other pins in here? We, we shall see. You'll have to excuse my uh, my studio here. I'm in the process of doing some remodeling, so it's kind of it's all messed up right now, but this will be good. This will be good. Right there it is. You'll never notice, right? Oh, maybe. I'm gonna place on this cabinet right here and kind of point it across the room. Can you see me? Can you hear me? How does it sound? What is the feel of view on this? Does it pick up the entire room or just part of the room? I don't know. I can't, I don't know. I guess we'll find out in a minute. Let me try it on the other side of the room, looking that way with the sun in the background, see if it's any different. I don't have a lot of choices here. I'm just gonna put it on this, on this mantle. All right, now I should be right in the center. The sun is behind me. Do I look dark? Am I well illuminated? Can you hear me? Say I'm some sneaky house sitter and I'm going through all your stuff here. Okay, what do you got here? All this good stuff here. Those guys, all kinds of ASEAN TV products here. What is all this stuff? As mentioned earlier, I did get the rattle to go away by putting a piece of tape over that end cap. And here's how that sounds with the tape over it. Right, just leaving the dentist office. Hopefully I got that rattle fixed. Tell me if it's rattling or not. Well, I'll know when I'm editing the video, but hopefully it's not. I don't think it's rattling. That tape should be working. Kind of a low tech solution, but she'll see. So I jotted out a bunch of notes when I was using this and here's some of the things that I noticed. Number one, when it was in my shirt pocket, nobody noticed it was a camera. Number two, as, as stated, out of the box, it rattles a lot, but a piece of tape took care of that. There seems to be an audio feature that's not mentioned in the instructions anywhere. Someone mentioned the Amazon comments and when the pen creates folders on the SD card, it has photos, video, and audio. I even had an audio file in there. I don't even know how I created it. I reached out to the company, asked them about it. They wanted my Amazon order before they answered any questions. I don't know why. I sent it to them. I have not heard back from them yet. If they answer me, I'll update the description below. Uh, some issues in there. It's not easy to aim. Sometimes you think it's pointing forward and it's not, or it's off to the side. It's also not very good for close-ups. Not that you'd get a, sp a spy pen for close-ups, but it's not very good for close-ups. They do include a lot of stuff out of the box. They give you the cable, they give you the adapter, they give you the cloth. There's a lot of things in there for 35 bucks. Uh, the battery life was actually quite good. Most of the tests that I did were on one battery charge. It seemed like the charge held up quite a bit. Most of the footage that I shot in my pen were actually holding my hand rather than my pocket because the pocket was pointing all over the place. I could never really get to point straight. So aiming it is definitely an issue. So in the end, it does record audio and video. So I will say that it does that, although it doesn't do either one very well. Unfortunately, I had that rattling, but I was at least able to fix it with a low-tech piece of tape. I probably wouldn't expect a lot of, for the audio and the video in a $35 spy pen, but there may be situations where the compactness and the discreteness are more important than the audio and video quality. And in that case, it might be pretty good for you. If quality of the audio and video matter at all to you, this may not be a great choice. But if you've used a spy pen like this, tell me what you think in the comments below. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you next time. So what I'm gonna do now is, while this plane is flying over, everything's all loud out of here. But next up is gonna be my pen vlog, where you're gonna see, <laughs> it's so loud. It's so loud. Why is it so loud? Right, so it's in, it's in my pocket. First up, normal walking. I'm gonna walk as straight as I can. Now I'm gonna run. Now I'm walking with the pen in my hand. Now I'll walk with it uh, at chest length. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is, I gotta stop here. It's my first video. I don't even know if it's actually recording or not. It did flash three times though.
probably looks ridiculous. I'm actually talking to my pen while I'm not here. It's one thing to hold your phone up and talk to it. Another thing to hold your pen up and talk to it. Very strange. 